Hello everyone, um, welcome back to the channel. I am super excited because we have got some amazing news to go over today. I'm going to be covering a brand new spoiler talking about towns, NPC happiness, and pylons. A new feature which will allow you to teleport around your NPC bases with ease and style. Okay, so earlier today, Senex posted a tweet talking about a new spoiler that would be coming out to us later in the day, which was a new feature being introduced to the game and that Lean Fours is the mastermind behind it. This is already really exciting. Lean Fours works on a lot of the balancing in the game and talked about a bit on Discord how he's gone through most of the beginning of the game, a lot of stuff that wasn't on file, practicing, testing a lot of the mechanics, and trying to balance out the game best he could. So that's already really exciting. And then I was eating lunch, and I get back to see that there is a new forum post, and it's just absolutely amazing. I would have never thought something like this would be added into the game. So this is some really exciting news for the whole Terraria community. I'm sure everyone who casually plays the game and those who are a part of the building community will get a lot of enjoyment out of this. Normally I wouldn't cover spoilers. I don't intend to cover too much besides this on the channel. If you want to check out other spoilers, I will leave a link to a forum post covering all of the new details for 1.4. So you guys can check that out and digest it. Definitely worth it if you're interested. There is this new post on the forums, which I'll put a link into the description if you guys want to check it out. Okay, happy Friday, Terrarians. Um, this post is from Loki, and it is the Terraria Towns system. So the NPCs are getting some more love. That is so exciting. Um, in, I think it was 1.3, when they first got the ability to sit in chairs, that was really exciting. This just blows that out of the water, just absolutely amazing. Now, you are going to be rewarded for building your NPCs nice houses and towns and places for them to live, such as building houses and towns in biomes that NPCs prefer to live in, making spacious <laughs> houses, no more NPC prisons, which I'm guilty of using, and this is really fun. It's going to be a good incentive and definitely, like they said, change the way you will approach the game. The first feature around this is the NPC happiness. What affects NPC happiness? They will be happier when you locate them in biomes they prefer. They're happier when they like their neighbors, and happier when they are not overcrowded with NPCs. Adding nice furniture and its aesthetics doesn't directly affect NPC, NPC happiness, but it sure will make you feel better about yourself. <laughs> yeah, it does. I can, I can attest to that. Building is pretty awesome. What happens if your NPCs are unhappy or happy? NPC shop prices will adjust based on how happy each NPC is at the time. And if you make them happy enough, you'll gain access to pylons, which is the huge feature which I'm really excited to talk about, but we'll go into that more before. Or later. How can you tell if your NPCs are happy? I guess they're introducing more dialogue, which is going to be really exciting. I always love NPCs are and how you interact with them is directly affected by the world, especially how sometimes that changes depending on how what the weather is and if NPCs have moved in or not, and bosses and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Diversity and spread out, biome-based towns. This is really awesome, and I'm really excited for this feature because now towns are going to be like an official thing. And when you have three or more NPCs in one area, that will be considered a town. 
Mobs will not spawn outside of invasions and events. And you'll get the town night music when you go there, so that's really fun. All together with Journey's End in conjunction with the happiness system, you'll be rewarded for building multiple bases across the scope of your world like never before. Okay, this is really exciting. Um, I know a few people have probably seen this already from a tweet Senex put out a while ago, but we have a new UI for the mana and the hearts, which are health. That's really cool. We got some new flowers here. Um, and then of course, the new pylon for the forest biome, which it just looks amazing. The sprite work is really well done. And that's for the forest base, but the underground biome. This is really cool. Now that the underground is going to be considered like a biome, <laughs> I know it's always been a biome, but I'm not sure if NPCs could live underground. I actually haven't done that too often, but this is going to give me more reason to do building underground, which I'm definitely looking forward to. You can see right off the new pylon for the underground, but we've also got these amazing gem trees. That's fantastic. I I don't even know what to think about that. We have this new bunny. Interesting. Probably like a gem bunny. Possibly some new sprites for the statues. And I'm just saying, there are four anvils stacked up. I'm not sure if that means anything but it's still pretty cool. It gives me hope that there's going to be some kind of benefit for that. And then the snow slash ice biome. This looks really cool. There's like this outline around NPCs and players now. And then the new ice pylon. So that's really cool. We also see this here, this new block that the water's going through. So I'm not sure what that's about, but I'm pretty excited for it. I wonder if that's kind of going to be like a platform-like item? I'm not sure. So, now they're going on to explaining this amazing new feature, which has just, it's blown me away. Introducing pylons. It's essentially going to work by having three NPCs in one area, which then is considered a town, unlocks the pylon. You can use this pylon in the town when you have three NPCs which are happy, <laughs> living comfortably, because they are needy. They charge us even though we give them houses to live in. Anyway, um, once you do that and they're happy, you'll be able to see the pylons on the map. This is really cool. So you can be anywhere and you can just travel to these pylons. That is so lovely. That's such a lovely feature. You don't need wiring, but they will not work outside of the base, and they won't work during bosses. So something to keep in mind, and really cool. Pylon instruction manual. So it just goes over these things, which you can read up on this if you want to, and you can see it working. This is just amazing. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. I just wanted to talk about it because I thought that the rest of the builder community would be really happy to see this, especially all of you who watch my videos. And I wanted to open this up for discussion. I wanted to talk about some plans and ideas I had for this. And also, I want to hear from you guys. What are some things that you might want to do with this? Maybe ideas that you've had or what you think about this, things that might be coming along with this because this is a pretty big game changer. So possibly this could have something to do with journeys mode. I'm not sure. One thought I had was you could incorporate this with the golfing feature. Like I really want to make some golfing maps. So that's definitely going to happen once 1.4 launches. Something that would be pretty fun is taking this and I could almost make different golf courses for different biomes. That would be a fun map. I definitely love working on that. Just some thoughts, things you could do with this. It's really amazing. I honestly haven't done a good playthrough throughout the game. So although this is really exciting and I think it will be really fun for 
different building projects outside of doing playthroughs, it's definitely going to be absolutely just incredibly fun for playthroughs. Uh, eventually when this comes out, I'm going to be doing some a, some collaborative playthroughs, and I want to do some playthroughs by myself, cover master mode, and probably be doing that on Twitch. I cannot wait to use this. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be uploading a bit more before 1.4 launches, and then I want to get into more tutorials once 1.4 launches. So look out for that if you want to. I'll talk about my absence later on. I know I haven't uploaded in a long time, and I'm sorry, but that's that. Just something I wanted to talk about I thought everyone would be interested in, and I thought it could open up some pretty big discussions, and definitely opens such a broad area for once 1.4 launches. So much that we can do with this community, so much that can happen. Um, I'm really excited to see such a big part. Like this is just, it's absolutely blown me away. Okay, in just two weeks, Traria 1.4 Journey's End is coming out on May 16th, 2020. Be motivated, stay inspired, and I will see you all next time. Peace.